So this morning we're off for a very important and exciting adventure here in Sapporo, Japan. We're gonna go do laundry. <laughs> So we're kind of winging this because all the instructions are in Japanese except for the weight. But I think what's happening is it's 15 kilos, wash and dry. <laughs> Tyler keeps filling it up. Uh, it takes 60 minutes and it costs 1,200 pesos. And by pesos I mean yen, which is about $12. It also says, which we found out using the Google app, that you're not supposed to put detergent in, so I must do all of it by itself, wash and dry in 60 minutes. Hopefully this works. And hopefully we don't end up with a bunch of pink clothes. So I think we got it working. I guess we'll find out in 60 minutes if we have pink clothes or not. One of the cool things about this machine is it actually has another like number pad here and you can input your phone number so the machine will call you when your laundry's done. So we got our laundry cleaned, didn't come out pink. I think everything's the right size and that was super convenient and easy. Just like basically everything in Japan. And for all three of us to do our laundry, it cost $12. Which is I think about the same as it would back home. So yeah, pretty good morning. I think we're gonna do a bit of an office day today. And then we're gonna go up the TV tower and try to get some photos at sunset. We're on our way to the TV tower. It's about an hour until sunset. We've just come across this beautiful temple here in Sapporo. And what I'm finding really interesting about these cities in Japan, both Tokyo and here, is you have the city, and then right in the city, this temple. And you might be thinking, what's well, the same as in Europe? You have the city and then you have these old churches in the middle. But just the design is so different to the modern buildings here. It's just such a contrast that I find absolutely fascinating. <laughs> the biggest ravens in the history of the world. <laughs> the tower's behind us, and uh, I guess we're going up now. It looks like we'll be shooting through glass, but hopefully we can still get some cool shots through it. This elevator's trippy. It's pretty quiet, so it'd be awesome if we get the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> except, for, except for the elevator. <laughs> the elevator is a bit packed. So far, the best thing about this TV tower is the elevator music. The height of this tower is 140. The views up here are awesome. It like really, really good. It, we're shooting straight into the sun towards the mountains, which is the shot we wanted. So we might have to wait until the blue hour happens, but there's definitely some shots to be made from up here straight down on things. This is really, really cool up here. Everything was going good until we found a sign that said no tripods. Now I'm sad. But this is so crazy, it leans like way out there and you can actually lean straight over the ground. And it looks like a door. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. I think uh, instead of doing tripod stuff, since I can't, I might try to sneak one in later. I'm gonna pull out my long lens, 70 to 200, and shoot some of these details because there's like a crosswalk down that way that might be cool. Yeah, I think the long lens will look really stunning here, so let's bust that out.
There's definitely shots to be had up here and I'm stoked that we came up here. As you guys know, Tyler, who's shooting uh, the B-roll, a lot of the B-roll for the show, who's over here, is the Trover sponsored assistant on this. And that's kind of how we found this spot. Now, that's actually how we found this spot on uh, Trover. Yesterday you saw us, we were struggling for a location. We went on to Trover and we started scrolling through and this was the spot we found all these really cool images of the city from. So we're up here because of Trover. Tyler's definitely up here because of Trover. And uh, this is awesome. No tripods, as I mentioned, but there's these little like signposts here that show what's in the photo, I guess. And I think that if I can set up my camera properly, I can balance my camera right on these things and use these to my advantage. So it's nice because it's, uh, it's not really busy up here either. Yeah, it's not busy up here, so I think that we'll definitely be able to get some shots. The light's not looking great, but I think there might be some nice silhouette looking shots. And this is awesome. This is really cool up here. So I grabbed a couple uh, kind of detailed shots that are cool. Um, the light's nice and soft, or was nice and soft, and now it looks like the sun's about to go just beyond the mountains. And you might remember back in the US, Southwest, I was going like sun star crazy. That's what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna shoot about F16, maybe a second, and just get the sun half on the horizon, half over the mountains, and it should create that beautiful sun star to backdrop this image. I have a four stop medium grad ND on right now, and I think it might be a little bit too much. So I might switch that for the three stop soft grad, but we'll see as the light goes down. So the light's okay. This is definitely a challenge though with like the setup. We've literally been setting up right on here. You can see Tyler's got a time lapse like vicariously hanging on here. But it's been kind of fun to try to do. I kind of joke and call myself the master of the long exposure selfie. In this case, it's the master of holding my camera very vicariously for long exposures. Uh, the maximum I seem to be able to do is about 30 seconds. Ideally in a scenario like this, when you're up above a city, you like to do like a minute or two minutes or three minutes or even four minute exposures just so you get lots and lots of light trails. I haven't been getting enough light trails in my photos. And without a tripod, I don't think I'll be able to, but we got a couple photos up here that are pretty cool and I think it's time to go get some sushi. Okay, it turns out that the sushi place we wanted to go to is ridiculously expensive, like $3 per one piece of sushi. So uh, we're gonna go and get um, curry instead. was a good choice. It was pretty delightful and uh, we're calling it an early night because we have uh, an early morning tomorrow. We're heading to uh, Hakodate because that's where I'm going to meet up with the dude that I did a homestay with 20 years ago here in uh, on Hokkaido Island. So that should be fun and I'll see you guys there. Peace!